Yo, YouTubers! It's been like a while. In my other video, I was like, it's been a while, which actually has been a while. And how much videos is my cat gonna be in? And I'm gonna be here talking about Nintendo and X. I just don't know what the actual release date, but I'm gonna talk to you guys about the rumor that's been going on and just stuff like that. So, let's get started that me and my cat are gonna talk to you guys about Nintendo and X. Let's get started. Sorry, I think. Okay, so, but I found an article that I think um, Amiibo Steel posted on Twitter, or someone posted on Twitter. It's from GamesRadar.com. It's everything we need to know about Nintendo's new console. So, practically, rarely has any unveiled Nintendo uh, console genres such for speculation and the run up to its unveiling. Usually, the matters of secondary. Uh, um, well, I gotta read, I'm sorry. Secrecy and surprise attend us early announcement and discussion of the NX. Albert in the resolution. I can't read. I can't read, but. Resoluti abstract terms has since been met with a torrent of rumors and reports. So there, are, there has been like a bunch of rumors of the controller, the release date, what the freaking system looks like. I think, I don't think, but I, I feel like it's going to be black. I, but I don't know if they're going to have like the two separate systems like they did with Wii U. Because with the black one you have like 300 and like something gigabytes. And on the white one you have like uh, 200 and something gigabytes. But I don't know how much gigabytes that Wii U is going to hold. But all I know is it's going to be as pow pow powerful as the uh, Xbox One. It's going to be much better graphics, it's probably going to be like a 4K um, HD maybe, I don't know, but hopefully it'll be freaking amazing with 4K, like, that'd be like amazing, that'd be so sick. Games in 4K, like, that'd be freaking amazing, like, how cool would that be? Um, there also has been a rumor about the controller, let me just show you guys a picture here, but, but it doesn't actually look like, but you guys probably know that it's not the actual official controller, because First of all, someone posted like, hey, this is the official controller for the Nintendo NX. So after I looked at it now, like, yo, this controller looks like, I don't even know what it looks like. It's like a controller with like two buttons. I was like, well, no. Why would I have like, two, like two buttons, you know? Like why would I have like a headphone jack and the controller? It's like, bro, what are you guys doing here? Then after I think a couple of weeks or not even a month, maybe a couple of weeks later, someone actually told the truth though and just said, yeah, this is not, the official controller. Um, let's see. The controller what? Yeah, the controller won't look like this because that's a fake mock mock up. We know that it's a fake because a the creator has admitted that it is, and b they um just just look at it with all the ergonomic form factor of a shard, a broken glass jam hard. Into the user's palm, oh my god. Arguably, the re only reason the hoax controller was designed like this was so that it would reflect the shape shown in Nintendo's earlier patent for new console technology. But those things always use basic geometric shapes to indicate hardware components. If they were accurate depictions, of the intended product, then all consoles would be monstrous, monolithic rectangles devoid of detail or design. And the only Xbox One does that. But practically, Nintendo does say that it was going to be as powerful as the Xbox One. Um, let's see. The Nintendo NX would be a console slash handheld hybrid, but a proper one this time. We hypothesis a long time ago a long time ago that Nintendo's next console has to bring the two sides of the company business together. For too long, Nintendo's game development resources have been split between home consoles and handheld too. Stretched to make up for the continued lack of third party support suffered by the former Nintendo's portable machines have done brilliantly since originally Game Boy. That that side of the company's output 
is entirely trusted. But the big old TV box end. So I'm gonna keep doing this in my hands. I don't know why. Um, but the big old TV box end of the business needs a significant shot of goodwill and development support. Folding the Tenno's handheld wing into it would probably fix that. And we know that the two development teams have now been merged. Uh, it will have the same level of power as Xbox One, which I was just talking about that to you guys. So, if it's if if true, that's more than powerful enough to finally put Nintendo back on par with the current gen competition. And if Nintendo hopes to recover any of the third-party support, it has lost since the it has lost since the week. That's good to be vital. Yes, such grunt under the hood might see the Nintendo NX with well, NX being a little pricey for handheld, but considering that you might only need to buy one Nintendo machine this time around, perhaps the potential cost balance out. Well, if it's a new system, obviously it's going to be more expensive, it's going to be more pricey. Um, anyways, it, it, it's like, if they made a new, a new Nintendo system, why would they make it into a handheld system, but not like, not like the Wii U? Like, they shouldn't make it like the Wii U, but like, maybe they like, thin it down a little bit, make the gamepad a bit smaller, because I know that when the Wii U first came out, I think people were kind of complaining how big the gamepad was, and now like it's too heavy. So maybe I think they should like make the gamepad maybe less heavier, more thinner, you know, make it more lighter, I guess. The same, you have the same buttons in the same spots, but like, you never know what can happen. It's Nintendo, I love them. They're always full of surprises, which is pretty awesome. Um, this feature sounds pretty cool. It says, it might, it might cloud connect to other consoles. So like, if you want to connect your Wii U to your NX or your 3DS to your NX, you can do that. But um, I hope they do do that because that'd be pretty awesome. So let's read a little bit of this. Uh, the specifics, the specifics of this one area, rather vague, but they do at least come from a more official source, a patented feeling, actually made by Nintendo. According to the patent application, Nintendo is looking to design hardware that can couple to a supplement computing device for increased speed and performance. Details on exactly how that might work aren't entirely clear. It's entirely possible that Nintendo is planning something akin to Microsoft's cloud computing tech. But with the patent, there are, there are also references to use remote computing devices from the user community. Uh, the last, okay, there's, there's a lot to read, I'm not with everything, but if they do something like that, that'd be pretty sick. So you could connect your cloud, like your NX, to multiple Nintendo systems, whatever systems you have. I don't know if we're gonna let it connect to the Wii, because the Wii didn't sell that much. I have a Wii, and then my first came out, I always play like crazy, but it didn't really sell that much, games were expensive, but you know what, everything's freaking expensive. The Wii U, when it first came out, it was around 2 something, but 300 bucks, plus it gets us like, any tax on it, so it was about 300 bucks, so... I think, obviously it's gonna be more expensive, maybe they should slim the controllers down, make it less lighter, more thinner, I don't know. It's Nintendo, they can do whatever they want. I love Nintendo, you guys are full of surprises. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it for my Nintendo NX news, Nintendo NX rumors, and so on. So let me see your guys' comments down below. I want to know what you guys think because clearly I kind of know what's going on, but I don't know what's going on because. It would be pretty sick if I was right. Um, yeah, so comment, rate, subscribe, and I love you guys forever. Peace out. See you later in the next review. Well, not review, sorry. My new, um, my next video. It's been a while. So, comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye, guys. See you guys later. I didn't even pause the video. <laughs>